The real question that I was trying to deal with in this book was, what is it that makes a person feel alive? Bulgarian history is one of, in the 20th century, is one of great um, disruption. Every few years there was a new regime, a new political uh, idea, and I realized that anyone who lived through that would have a very hard time speaking about their lives with any sense of coherence. The thing that first drew me to Bulgaria was music. I heard um, some Bulgarian folk music, and the sound of that drew me to that place that I knew nothing about. The interesting thing about the 20th century in Bulgaria is that the fate of Bulgarians was determined almost completely from the outside uh, by Germany, Britain, America, and particularly by Russia, by the Soviet Union. And that made for a particular kind of feeling in Bulgaria, a feeling of inferiority, of inadequacy, a feeling that Bulgarians themselves could not produce their own fate, their own destiny. What's interesting to me about this feeling is that it is actually the feeling of the majority of people in the world. For most people in the world, the 20th century was a time of colonization, of being controlled from the outside. And therefore, I think it's in many ways a universal tale. The funny thing about writing this book was that Ulrich, this character that I made up and invented out of nothing, uh, didn't feel to me to be a creation of mine. He felt to me to be something that existed outside myself and that I was trying to access. And he, he lived with me for four years as this sort of ghostly presence who came into my dreams and looked over my shoulder as, as I was writing and told me that I was not writing him well enough and that I still have further to go.